Welcome to the Red Tech Daily Podcast, powered by artificial intelligence. I'm Marguerite Clark, bringing you the latest updates in the world of radio broadcast and digital audio industries. On today's episode, we'll cover Thornberry Radio, stretching its coverage with digital audio broadcasting and in Tain, betting on Lawo. Listeners in the south of Gloucestershire, a county in southwestern England, can now tune in to community station Thornberry Radio on digital audio broadcasting following the launch of a new digital audio broadcasting multiplex. The local not-for-profit organization, South Gloucestershire Digital Community Interest Company, backed by Thornberry Radio, community donations, and support from Thornberry Town Council and Thornberry Rotary, successfully launched its small-scale digital audio broadcasting service covering much of South Gloucestershire. South Gloucestershire Digital Community Interest Company was awarded the license by United Kingdom broadcast regulator Ofcom to operate digital audio broadcasting services across the Thornbury, Yate, and Almondsbury areas. The multiplex covers a significant portion of South Gloucestershire, including the busy M4 and M5 corridors. To mark the launch, Thornbury Radio's mid-morning presenter Simon Criddle pledged to have his legs and chest waxed if the station met its 3,000-pound fundraising goal. Thanks to generous community support, Criddle underwent the waxing live on air on Friday, October 18, 2024, cheered on by fellow presenter Greg Robinson. Our digital audio broadcasting transmissions will provide listeners across South Gloucestershire with more radio choices, including a new way to listen to Thornbury Radio, said David Wrench, director of South Gloucestershire Digital Community Interest Company. With our network's capacity, Capacity. We're offering smaller commercial stations, charities, and community groups the opportunity to establish their own radio services in the area. Thornberry Radio, which already serves 45,000 people around Thornberry with a team of volunteers, is now available on digital audio broadcasting, alongside its frequency modulation, smart speaker, and online platforms. This expanded reach enhances the station's accessibility for listeners, local events, community groups, and businesses. In Tain, a prominent gaming and betting operation in Australia and New Zealand, has selected Lawo Hardware and Software to establish a broadcast hub in Christchurch, located on New Zealand's scenic South Island. The hub will incorporate a Lawo MC236 XP console for audio production, while Lawo Power Cores will manage remote audio processing for their outside broadcast trucks and vans. Additionally, Lawo's home app software suite will play a crucial role in handling both video and audio tasks. According to a press release, the audio within the hub will be controlled by a 32-fader MC236XP console, which is connected to the Lawo MC2 Digital Signal Processing Home app. In the outside broadcast vans, PowerCore RP version 2 nodes will facilitate streamlined on-site and remote access to all audio parameters, allowing for easy setup before connecting with the hub's MC2 console. Intain has also opted for LawoFlex, which combines the flexibility of Lawo's software licensable infrastructure with subscription-based access to future applications. This choice ensures that Entain has immediate access to future technological advancements, helping them avoid costly investments in custom hardware that could quickly become outdated. Professional Audio and Television, Lao's partner in Australia and New Zealand, is overseeing this ambitious project. With this strategic partnership, Intain is poised to leverage cutting-edge broadcast technology to enhance its operations across the region. That wraps up today's episode of the Red Tech Daily Podcast. For more in-depth articles and the latest updates in the world of radio broadcast and digital audio industries, be sure to visit our website at redtech.pro. I'm Marguerite Clark, and thanks for tuning in. Until next time.